previously. See, the thing is here, they have to pop either the MK3 or their own fog blade. Or they just give up on Master Duel Masochist. Yeah, I'll take a 4,000 attack point monster. Sure. Thanks. Please tell me this connects. Please tell me this <laughs> What is a deck? A collection of cards that is an extension of the player? A tool used to win tournaments? A reflection of oneself? What gives a deck meaning? The individual cards? The number of victories? Or what about the will to never give up? Does a deck inherently possess meaning? Or do we as players assign meaning to the deck? Can we create meaning from nothing? What if we created a new Master Duel account, ignored the starter decks, and restricted the account to the minimum amount of Master Packs possible to create a legal, although not necessarily playable deck of 40 main deck cards and throw ourselves into ranked? If we somehow miraculously defeat an opponent, we can upgrade our deck with one additional Master Pack. Can we achieve something like this in Master Duel that only a masochist would try? I guess there's only one way to find out. This is Master Duel Masochist. <laughs> Draco Utopian Aura, man. What an insane pull. All right, this is a, a weather card. That's not doing anything. Witchcrafter card. This probably isn't doing anything. Loop of Destruction. Once per turn, if a monster on the field is destroyed by a card effect, target a monster on the field, destroy it. And if you do, each player takes 500 damage. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. If a monster on the field is destroyed by a card effect, except during damage step, target a monster on the field, destroy it. And if you do, each player takes 500 damage. That's nuts. Now, I will say, I don't really have the ability to trigger this card. I have like a couple cards that trigger this. But this is a continuous destruction effect that every single time one of my monsters would be destroyed by card effect, I get to pop one of their monsters. It's not Ring of Destruction, but you know what? It's a, it's a solid second. I'll say that. This is... This has the potential to be insane. So many, like, good decks destroy things with card effects because, you know, that's what you fucking do. I think we're throwing that in. That's crazy. That's a normal? Zeradius can't use that. Crow Tengu. I wish this was Reborn Tengu, because we already have one. If this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to grave, or if this card is special summoned from the graveyard, target and attack as much your opponent controls, destroy it. What is with all the removal? That's insane. Wait a minute, this is a zombie too. We pulled that zombie master. So maybe there's a world where we play zombie master because now we have Crow Tengu and that gives us more removal? The thing is, it has to be destroyed by card effect. But, like, that's better than some of the other cards we're playing anyway, in all honesty. I just wish I had more things that special summon from the graveyard. It also kind of sucks because it only goes after attack position monsters, but link monsters have to be in attack position, which is nice. A lot of cards most of the time are going to be in attack position. That's pretty good. Phantom Fortress Enter Blathnir. We're not making rank nines anytime soon. Naturia Leo Drake. Cute. Double Bite Dragon. Needs a link monsters. Um, sick pack. Loop of Destruction, Crow Tengu. We knew we pulled Zombie Master a bit earlier. I think we're going to make some adjustments. I want to open the Legacy Packs first before I commit to anything, but holy shit, that's a big pack right there. All right, three Legacy Packs. What do we got? Fulfillment of the Contract. Terrible. Axe the Pummer? Poomer? I don't know. What the, what the fuck is this? If I was all in on, like, Beast Warriors, that card's actually not terrible. Okay. The Revenge of the Normal. It's a way to swarm, assuming I have a way to, like, clean up a boar. Uh, I don't know. Worm Hope. I don't think that card's very good either. All right, come on. Last Legacy Pack. Hero Spirit. Oh, that's a hero-specific card. Rescue Warrior. Man, why couldn't it just take control of any monster? I guess it makes sense given, like, the name of the card, but 
That sucks. That would have been so much better if it actually took something, but it's not a gradle, sadly. All right, I need to go to the deck. So we definitely made some adjustments here. I ended up cutting our little fairy package of the Nova Summoner, the Herald of Orange Light, and the Vylon Ohm. I don't know, it's like, Herald of Orange Light was okay as a tuner, but I sort of just replaced it with Krebons, and it, it sucks because now we can't go into Chaos Beast anymore because we don't have any light tuners that we're working with, but... I, it just didn't really feel like they were doing anything. I never resolved Vylon Ohm a single time. I mean, I only have two equip cards to really get back anyway. It just, it might be too slow of a card. So I ended up cutting that whole package because I wanted to make room for Zombie Master Crow Tengu. Just because like Crow Tengu's actual removal, Zombie Master enables it and it's 1800 attack, which is like pretty beneficial. And I also ended up cutting uh, Wakero as well because... While Carol was a level five instead of a level four, and while it was an 1800 that was special summonable, I didn't like that it had a level five star line. I think just having the level four star line is better because then we can actually access like XC Dragon potentially. So I don't know if that's worth giving up like the special summoning. I ended up cutting that in like Shape Sister since, I mean, Kendama's cool, but I feel like Kendama just like rarely comes up. So. I don't know. It's weird. I feel like we just need like better payoffs to be able to bring those cards back into the deck. But Krebons is good because it can be used for a tribute or for synchroing and uh, walling up in that regard. So I think it's just the better card. We threw in our loop of destruction, of course. And then I also ended up throwing Windup Knight into the mix as well. It's an 1800 that can like negate an attack once. So like it has like some utility over other cards that just basically do nothing. I don't know if it's very good, but we'll see. I can always go back to the other configuration if I feel like I want the extra special summons, but I don't know. I feel like this looks a bit more robust. I already know what you all are saying. I already know what you all are saying. I'm going right now. Runic. I need to put Gary into the extra deck. This is a card I have been omitting for the past few episodes because I typically record a lot of Masochist in bulk. So when you guys recommend stuff in the comments, it's going to be a little bit delayed. But this card is actually crazy. Uh, I forget that Runic Flashing Fire is more than just removal. I can actually special summon a guy, which happens to be a level four, and actually has a pretty relevant ability, as a matter of fact. If it's destroyed by battle, you can target a card on the field and destroy it. So there's actually a lot we can do with a card like this. So I think we can get rid of one of our, our more useless cards that we're probably never going to use at all, like maybe like ZW Leo Arms or something like that. And yeah, I haven't tested this deck yet since we discussed it in the last video. So let's go ahead and save now that we have that there and let's see what we can do. All right, maybe we're going to be testing out our new friend in this duel. He's set and pass. This is the kind of Yu-Gi-Oh I like. All right, let's see what we can do. Give us a good monster. Ah, oh, that's fine. We'll deal with that. Uh, I think we just get in with Zombie Master, honestly. Shadow Mist. Okay, got some hero action going on. Uh, we're probably just gonna set everything and just hope it's good enough. Giving them Ferris access may have uh, potentially just turned their entire deck online, but we'll, we'll 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 cross the bridge when we get there. Liquid Man being the pitch. All the typical hero stuff. try to go after the Cross Crusader here. They still have it normal summoned. It's not like it would really make like a huge difference, I feel like. Let's get some Stratos. They also have Fusion Substitute.
So now they have Fusion Substitute, Miracle Fusion, and two other cards that we don't know. This is bad, because they could make... No. They can't make Acid here. They have a Water, so they could just make Ab Zero. Just probably the move. Looks like that's what we're doing. I feel like maybe they have the third Mally in their hand. Oh no, Tira lives. Okay. Yeah, they still have yet to normal summon, by the way. Going after the safe zone? That's actually very convenient for us. Um, I'm trying to think what I'd rather just pop now. I can take out both, honestly. I think we target the Ab Zero, just because we need to clear this if we want our Parasomnia Pillow to resolve. Uh, I could switch this to defense, but I don't have anything to take it out, unfortunately. Am I in danger of dying? Potentially? Hmm. That's rough. We'll let it go. I need a monster that's not missed Archfiend. Like, I need something that's gonna stick. Or back row. I know they have fusion sub. I think that might be the only thing I know. Oh, and the uh, they have the uh, honest Neos. Oh, that's not terrible. Oh, uh, we know they have the honest Neos. They really have a lot else besides that. Well, let's just do this. I guess we just go to end phase. There's still a ton they can do, but we're not dead somehow, so that's good. Still a fusion sub, which is annoying. They can use this Vion again also, now that I think about it. I mean, I guess they need to have more polys, which they might. No, I guess they do. They're really playing three polys in this deck? Okay, so the hand is fusion sub, poly, honest Neos. I guess this could be a poly. Normal Ash. We linking? I don't know. We're just going for it. All right. With the honest Neos. Escuridow. This is going to be funny. Okay. Why did they normal the Ash? Am I missing something? Level 11 Synchro? Misclick? I've never seen this card in my life. What the hell is this? Shuffle an elemental hero or neo spatial monster you control into the deck. Special summon an elemental hero or neo spatial with a different name from your hand or deck. What are we going for here? That's fine. Elemental hero spirit. Oh, that's a card. Okay. Yeah, this is a card. Rainbow Neos? Yeah. We got it! Alright. Uh, if this resolves, we are probably going to lose. So, I think I have to actually deal with this now. Oh, this has a second effect. Oh, that sucks. Oh, damn, we're just dead then. God, why is the Neos Fusion also protected? That's really annoying. Uh, we're dead. We are dead. Wow. That sucks. That sucks. That felt winnable.
All right, I'm in. <laughs> you know it's a good game if we're starting with Cup of Ace. All right, we've got 9 billion cards at our disposal here. I'll bite. Let's see what we're working with. Uh, is there any possibility that this is Mill? I'll run that risk. That's fine. Uh-oh. This is about to get interesting. I'm in. Cup of Ace into Magic Cylinder. Where are we going with this? This has to be a masochist. There, uh, maybe? I guess we'll find out. Let's see. I'm in. I love this. All right. Where are we going? Where are we going? It was Morphing Jar! I'm so good at this game. Oh my God. I'm kind of pissed actually. <laughs> Shit. Oh my God. I guess I'll activate this. I don't like, does it really matter? Uh, That's a big ass Morphing Jar actually. I am going to bounce this. I wonder if it still gets the buff. Oh, good. It goes down. Okay. <laughs> I should have set the other card. I'm kind of kicking myself. I was thinking about setting Backup Rider. I was like, oh, what if it's Morphing Jar? God. Oh, my God. This is going to be nuts. All right. I'm in. That card's pretty good. Especially for flipping back Morphing Jar. Oh, they're playing like a million cards, too. I forgot they haven't actually committed to a normal summon at this point. I can't do anything. Sphere mode? Oh my god. I'm getting milled. I'm legit getting milled right now. Uh, okay. What are we going to do about this exactly? I guarantee I'm not going to be able to kill this Morphing Jar. I'll try. I just don't think it's going to happen. I think the move is to actually set a bunch of these cards first. To just try to wall up. All right. Magic Cylinder number two coming in hot. I'm getting milled. I'm getting milled. No. No. <laughs> This rocks. This rocks. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose this, but honestly, like... <laughs> can I even be mad? When Book of Eclipse's downside actively benefits your deck. Crazy. I could technically Fog Blade the Morphing Jar, but even doing that, I'm not really sure how well this is gonna help. This is crazy. Yeah, okay. I should just quit because I'm going to lose this. But honestly, I just want to see like all the crazy stuff their deck does. 14 cards left. Morphing Jar is another five. If they go Zen Maester to flip, that's 10. Even if I stop something with Fog Blade, he could just flip it back down and flip it back up again. Let's see what they got for this. Doesn't even matter. They can just Zen Maester flip it back down. Yeah, okay. I, I, I want to keep going, but we got to move on. This was sick, though. This was fun. I'm not mad about that one.
The Book of Moon Mate just makes me laugh. It's just it's just a book. It's just chilling. It's it's not like animated or anything. It's it's just there. <laughs> That's sus. Is this just like self TK without the bot? What is going on? That's just a that's just like the blue eyes deck. I'm so confused. Unless there's no way they're bricked, right? Like blue eyes is coming out now. I mean this this was almost a problem for us. What? What? What was this? What? <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this. I mean, we won. That's good, right? We don't even get legacy packs. Wow. Terrible. Uh, We get two bad cards from, like, Legacy of Darkness. Great. All right. Let's open a master pack. Okay. Weird way to start this one out. King of the Swamp is actually, like, not a terrible card. We just need something to do with it. Iron Draw. Royal Rare Iron Draw. Uh, unfortunate, because we're probably never using that card. Guard Dragon. Salomon Great Fennec. Sonata the Melodious Diva. Cat of Ill Omen. Mutant Cry. And is the last card useful? Weather forecast. I'm going to go with no. It is not. Uh, well, I guess that's our first royal rare on the account, but wow, this was like the shittiest opening imaginable, all things considered. I guess King of the Swamp is okay. Not a bad hand, actually. We can just lead Krebons, and like, Krebons is just kind of annoying. I'm speaking like this is 2008 and normal summon Krebons is a good play, but you know. If we're playing Call of the Mummy, oh, I'm in. This is about to get terrifying. Oh, this is about to get terrifying. Okay. <laughs> this is bad. Not my Krebons! Oh, man. Also, why didn't I set Spellbound? Let's get some Zombie World. Thankfully, we can actually out this with Back to Square One. I think... I kind of want a Magic Cylinder, this, if I'm being honest. But I kind of want to protect something, too. But the damage is pretty great. Uh, I'm going to save the cylinder. I might want to protect my monsters later. 28's a lot, but I think we'll be okay. All right, good draw. Oh, that's not bad. It's kind of iffy. Okay. So we start here. I don't think we're going to need Spellbound. Now, the problem is this turns Call the Mummy on again. So I'm not really enthused about that. 
Gozuki didn't trigger notably, which means... Oh, they don't have any zombies to banish, so they actually couldn't do anything. Okay. So now, as long as they don't get, like, Baller Drock back, I think we're okay? Oh, please, no. Sure. That's irritating. Uh, we're just, we're dead. We tried. Tried. Ugh. This is a very monster heavy hand. Well, apparently a monster heavy hand is all you need. We'll take it. What do we get? Legacy packs. Legacy packs. Three legacy packs. All right, let's get cooking. All right, another master pack for a well-deserved win. Our deck carried us heavily. They were too intimidated. Another in for Noble Arms. We're actually getting like several of these. Flambell Counter, I don't... We do have some Flambell cards, but I don't think there's like many good ones that we have. Gear Gear Anchor. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. If this card is flipped face up, you can destroy monsters on the field up to the number of... Oh, other gear gears. I thought this was removal. Oh my God, that would have been insane. All right, it's an 1800 though, so it's fine. Card's not very good. This is a Gizmex specific card. Doesn't do us much good. The Nouveau Ritual. Cubic Rebirth. That card sucks. And Naturia Horn Needle. Another 1800, if anything. So many of these cards that, like, actually have decent effects, but require other monsters in the archetype. Like, Horn Needle has a decent effect, too. So does Gear Gear Anchor, but it's not good enough. All right, let's go ahead and check out the Legacy Packs. Maybe those will give us a boost. All right, three packs. Let's see what we get. Double Snare. Ew. And Luminous Soldier. Talk about, like, OG cards. It's crazy. Next. Chorus of Sanctuary. Black Terra. I would like some cards that were not printed in 2004, preferably. I guess we're going to keep getting them. Sleeping Light. Wow, those were all terrible. Another monster heavy hand, but at least we have Utopian Aura and a ton of monsters, so at least we can steal something big. I mean, if our opponent's just gonna T-set pass, I'm totally okay having four monsters in hand. That's fine. Uh, let's lead Suprex. Just because if this gets outed, it gets us Rescorpio, which is bigger. Or we're just not outing it at all. Okay, uh, looks like we're playing... I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the Dragon Starter. I should have gotten Hita. 1850. Would have cleared it. I will say, the one thing about Blue Eyes that's particularly annoying is that it's not an effect monster that activates. <laughs> we got back to square one, though. I, I feel pretty safe. This is just an 1800. I guess I get Overlay... They have 12 cards in the extra. I gotta be honest, I was not expecting this to be the pick here. Okay. Going according to plan here. I mean, if anything, it's a 2500 rank 4 for them, so... Pretty good. All right. We've got the out, thankfully. Uh, so we'll start with this. I don't know what I want. I'm not really, like, scared of anything. I think I'm going to get rid of the smoke mosquito, actually. All right. Let's see what we're facing. Swift Scarecrow. Well, I'm happy to get that out of the way now. Oh, 
Okay, worst case scenario, that's a Kidmodo Dragon. Best case scenario, it is anything that is not a Kidmodo Dragon. So, we're getting in. Looking at this deck, now I'm wondering if we're just playing another Masochist. Because none of these cards go together in the slightest. <laughs> I haven't pulled a single one of these, though. So I'm not convinced yet. That's good. I am a bit afraid of overcommitting, but honestly, like, we just gotta go for it. This has to be a Masochist deck. This has to be a Masochist deck. We're on Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. TG Tank Grub. That had to be a masochist. I need to check the deck. I, I need to know. Gold three, though. We are officially at gold three. Only one legacy pack for our troubles. Lame. I don't know. It, it looks... It, it wasn't a masochist. It was just the blue eyes deck with a bunch of other stuff thrown in. I didn't realize it was a 60 card deck. <laughs> Holy shit. But that's not what we're here for. We are here... Oh, not for that. We're here for master packs. And we're here for legacy packs as well if we actually pull more than one. So let's see what we get. I would like to get something to actually... Upgrade the deck. There's an ultra rare, so maybe if we're lucky enough. Full Metal's Foes Fusion, not going to do anything. Eternal Dread, that should be the name of this series. Pendulum Encore. That'd be useful if we had a good enough Pendulum Core. Cosmo Dogfighter. Funny enough, this card is actually kind of cracked. If you've never seen this before, it says during the standby phase, so it's both players. And then it literally just non-stop summons dogfighter tokens. The problem with this is... It's competing in our deck for Aether... For... Diabound... Uh, Rescorpio is not really a, a tribute summon. It's, it's competing for some space. I guess we could summon it off of World Legacy's Secret if it hits the grave. And if it's destroyed, it floats into a Cosmo. But we don't have... Oh, do we have the bad one? I think we have the level 5. The the shuttle... Whatever the, whatever the hell the name is. That card's bad. I don't even know if we'd play that anyway. But if we ever do get, like, Wicked Witch, which is a crazy card, it does have synergy there. Man, Dogfighter's crazy, though. It just gets out of hand as time goes on. But it doesn't really, like, do anything aside from a lot of damage. I'm going to think about it. Did not mean to do that, but I guess we're looking at everything at once. Uh, Shelled Emperor of the Forest Crown Beargrim. So this is a payoff for insects and or plants. They cannot activate monster effects in response to our spell or trap card or effect activation. And once per turn during the main phase, we can destroy all face-up monsters on the field except insect and plants, but this can't attack directly for the rest of the turn. Why does this have so many restrictions? This card's neat. This is a cool payoff. I don't know if I have enough insects and plants to really, like, build a deck around this, but, like, this thing's a bomb for sure. I guess I can look. What else did we get? Uh, uh, Dream Mirror. This card's probably terrible, and it is. Green Gadget's, like, okay, and Hatsume, Secret Six Samurai. Okay. Uh... I don't think we have enough gadgets yet to, like, start playing them. But this card is so weird, but it's so interesting. Anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at our legacy pack before we go to the deck real quick. All right, legacy pack. Only one. I'm honestly not expecting much. I'll be honest. Bubble Blaster. Spider Spy. Ah! This card's, like, fine. If anything, it's an insect for that Bear Grimm card. Let me check something. Insect plant. I mean, shockingly, we actually have a decent amount of insects and plants. The problem is they're just mostly bad. Like, the best ones, smoke mosquitoes, like, actually still in our deck. 
That Naturia Horn Needle that we pulled is here. Botanical Girl is okay. I think another issue too is that the insects and plants don't have a ton of synergy with each other. I think it's something to look out for though. Like I wouldn't play 90% of these cards just to play this card, but this card is a cool build around, I will say. Whoa, that's a lot of trap cards and we are going second. Uh-oh. Is this the... Well, happy to see that gone. Not that we really have effect monsters, but... Is this the Cypher Photon deck? Looks like it. All right, who are we making? Can only make Cypher monsters? Cypher Dragon? Yeah, that makes sense. Then Cypher Blade? Oh, you're just giving me a juicy Draco Utopian Aura target, my friend. Oh, even bigger. Oh, that is going... I... <laughs> this is going to be great. I'm so in. All right, cool. We're just... We're going for it. I don't even have to play Tackle Crusader. Honestly, I could just not. This is going to be so great. Standby phase. Would you like to activate Cypher X Dragon? Oh, why, thank you very much. I'll take that. Oh, don't have... This is a counter trap. What do you have? Judgment? They do have judgment! Oh, we're so dead. <laughs> Shit. Man, I felt so safe, and now we're probably dead. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, there's still hope. Like, it's not, it's not over yet. Oh, yes! Loop of destruction! We get to finally use this card. You ignorant fool! Oh, we just chain it. Okay. I was like, excuse me? The same thing's gonna happen. Whatever. Okay. Yes! The loop of destruction paid off! Oh my god. It was all a ploy. The judgment was bait. Oh my god. I can't believe that worked. Loop of destruction's great. Two legacy packs. Let's do it. All right, first up, the Master Pack. Master Packs have not been good lately. I gotta be honest. I'd like to change that. Chaos Sorcerer! Oh my god, we have a payoff! And it's a good payoff! <laughs> oh, we have to put Chaos Sork in. That's insane. Double Cyclone. That's actually not a terrible card. Supreme King's Castle... That card doesn't really do us any good. Cold Enchanter. Uh, that's fine. That, like, early on, that card would have been okay. That card's terrible. Agent of Wisdom Mercury is terrible. Malefic World is probably not going to do us any good. What's the super? Dark Simorg's actually kind of sick, too, now that I think about it. Can we... Okay. Can we play Chaos Orc and Dark Simorg? Do we have Lights, Darks, and Winds to play both of these? Because that would be great. That gives us, like, two giant guys to go into. Before we do that, though, let's go to the Legacy Packs. Because I think we actually have some build-arounds now that we pulled both of those. But let's see what we get here first. Lady Heat. Bird of Ro- There's a Wind, and it's 1800. Summon plant two plant tuners from your deck in defense position. I think we might actually have plant tuners. Let me double check. Let's open this next pack first. 
Goki cage match. We have Gokis. We don't have enough Gokis to play this, though. Okay. And Gladiator Beast equip spell. Bird of Roses, though. That's actually really good. I need to see what plant tuners we have. So due to our insane master pack pulls, I definitely think the, the slot machine hit in that last one, that's for sure. Uh, we now have Chaos Sorcerer and Dark Simorg in our arsenal. So I took a step back and tried to reconfigure the deck in such a way that we can accommodate both of these. Obviously, these both need dark monsters to summon, and that's not really an issue. The issue is trying to find enough good light and wind monsters to accommodate both. Now, honestly... Playing Chaos Sork isn't hard. Uh, most of our best cards are already dark or light, and so we could probably throw this in as is and be perfectly fine. What I really wanted to try to fit in, though, was Dark Simorg, because we actually have some okay wind monsters. Bird of Roses, the newly pulled, is for all intents and purposes an 1800 beater. I did check. We have two plant tuners, but unfortunately... I don't think they're very good is the problem, so we're not going to play them for the time being, but I'll keep an eye out in case we pull any others. Mecha Phantom Beast Harleyard, again, 1800 beater, and then uh, we have a few more. Charioteer of Prophecy is randomly a wind monster, and then Simorg Bird of Protection, as well as Red Eyes Wyvern are all wind. Now, this is the weakest card of the bunch, but it is spell and trap removal, kind of, and it has the ability to special summon itself out sometimes, so it's not a terrible card. So I figure with that, we have five or six wind monsters to accommodate for our Dark Simorg. The more bombs we can fit into this deck, the better, and I want to at least give it a shot. I already know Chaos Orc's going to be good, but what if we can try to just up it a bit and play Dark Simorg as well? The trade-off here is that we had to remove a lot of cards that were just slightly higher in, like, attack value, like the Charmers are gone, like Hita and Asa, but they were just 1850 versus 1800. Uh, I took out, like, other stuff like Fluffle Leo and just random cards like that. So now all of our cards have, like, one plus half a monster's worth of, you know, value, because even if we lose some of them in the early game, mid-game, if we can drop a Dark Simorg or a Chaos Orc, we might be in a pretty good position. So I'm not sure if it's going to work, but who cares? Let's see what happens. Another value of Simorg and Chaos Orc is that they're both actually targets for World Legacy Secret. I think assuming they were properly summoned. Simorg might not care. I think Chaos Orc has to be properly summoned first, but that just gives this card even more power as well. And I also just realized I loaded in with the old deck because Fluffle Leo is still in here. Okay, this hand's not beating Mirror Jade. Let, let's just get out of here. All right, let's change decks. Make sure we actually pick the right one this time. There we go. All right, and now let's get into it. So we have half a Dark Simorg. I also just realized we're going first, which is not great. Um, I... Gotta be honest, I think I just want to set and pass. I don't really want to send either of these out to slaughter just yet. If they OTK us, so be it. We're just playing all the chaos stuff. Yeah, we might be dead. Oh, we're 100% dead here. All right. Well, we didn't have to summon anything. Okay, the one problem with this is that, you know, it might be a brick until we find a dark monster, but, you know, we dark is the most represented attribute in our deck. It'll be okay. Burn? Bad self DK? Well, there's a dark. I'm not expecting anything else, but all right, let's see what happens. It's just straight up burn. And it's clearly a bot. <laughs> This is actually just 2003. I mean, well, aside from this, but I mean, all these cards are just like old burn cards. This is great.
<laughs> I love this game. <laughs> well, uh, I guess this should do it. Unless I get, like, mega punished by the back row here. Okay. That was a bit scary because until I... Well, I guess I had Aether and Timebreaker, but that, that ant could have actually been a problem, potentially. All right. Uh, we'll take it. What do we get? Maneater Bug! Wait, that's nuts! Maneater Bug's a great card! <laughs> Uh, it has to flip, which is kind of a problem, but it's removal. It's not Noble Maneater Bug. Do we actually play Maneater Bug? Oh my god. Let me open my Master Pack first, and I'll think about it. I can't believe I'm actually considering playing Maneater Fucking Bug, of all things. Like, surely there are better cards than that. Qua well, apparently not when you pull Quaki Meru Shield. Synchron Carrier. Neat, but not useful. Infernity Destroyer. Sick name. Terrible card. Beast Eyes Pendulum Dragon. A card that we probably cannot physically summon. And honestly, it looks like a bunch of garbage. Yep, that's garbage, all right. Okay, uh, so Man Eater Bug was the best card that we got. Fantastic. The real issue now is like, especially because I'm trying for this Simor Chaos Sork thing, I, I just have even less space to cut stuff because I really want to keep all my Darks, Lights, and Winds. I want to keep my Gokies. They're Earth, but they're just good. So like in the monster lineup, that leaves what? Tackle Crusader, Giant Rex, and the Sioux Ship? I guess I'm usually setting Tackle Crusader anyway. I guess I'd rather have it just be straight up removal. So we'll see. Watch, like, Maneater Bug ends up being, like, one of the best cards I could have pulled. This is sick, actually. I have Dark Simorg online with this hand. This is awesome. And if they're just setting and passing, oh, baby. Let's go. That's pretty good, too. All right. Um, What are we thinking? What are we thinking? I guess we could start with Wyvern. I've got multiple wins. No! I can't get over that! Oh, God. It's super heavy. Well, this is about to get bad. Maybe I should have Parasomnia pillowed the blue brawler. Oh. Is this a masochist deck? Because holy... Whip Snake is crazy if that's the case. Uh... Yeah, sure. I'll do this. I'll take some value. All right. Uh, that's actually a sick draw. Let's get... Let's go Shura. And I want to clear this. This also puts Dark Simorg online as well. I just don't want them having stuff on the field. Oh, it just can't be killed. Oh, oh, that's bad. Well, that's fine. We'll deal with that later. Imagine reading cards. Couldn't be me. I guess I should Parasomnia pillow it, honestly. Uh, I don't really want to waste Parasomnia pillow on this card, but I think I have to. That sucks. Yeah, I'll do it. This is... I cannot believe I'm doing this. Take... I'll make the token, I guess. It's not like it's going to do anything. I guess I can tribute the token. That card's crazy. Kill the token. If it's destroyed by battle, you can target one of your banished monsters, add it to your hand.
I don't know where they're going with that. That's a bit scary. Uh, I guess we'll find out eventually. Let's just get in for damage. That card is terrifying. I am actually frightened of Prime Mineral Congrate. The monster is set from your opponent's hand or deck to the graveyard. You can special summon this card. And if you flip it up, it's just nuts. Dichotomy. Okay. Let's us at equal cards. I swear to God, if that's Blue Brawler, I am going to be livid. Well, maybe now I won't be livid. Actually, I don't have a light monster. Mm. That's annoying. Uh, you just go for Diabound? Probably. I swear to God, if it's Blue Brawler. Okay, it's Air Hummingbird. That's fine. I feel like if they're setting Air Hummingbird, they're on the ropes, but we'll see. Oh, no. Bringing back Air Hummingbird? Oh, they can go in my graveyard. Okay. Tribute? That's a tuner. Uh-oh. Where are we going with this? They have a full extra deck. Please don't have Black Rose. Oh. This is 36? Oh, during damage step only. Okay. We're fine, though, because of Diabound. Okay. Man, Diabound has just been a godsend, hasn't he? Okay. Uh, I don't know if this wraps it up. I don't think it does. Uh, we're still a bit off. So we have to go... Diabound effect. Oh! Well, good thing we had another monster. I'm okay with that. That's fine. I just wanted to clear it off the field. Could just go for that. I'm not going to throw it out there, though. Diabound comes back. Uh, okay. It's not Blue Brawler specifically. I think we win the game. Let's not do that. I think we just go for it. That's it. I mean, they could have Sphere Karibo again, I guess. Wow. Fellow masochist, if that's what you are, good game. They've got some good cards. Holy. Oh, look at all the rewards. What do we get? Two legacy packs. Hell yeah. I actually want to see this. Let's take a look at their deck. I just realized they're on 60 cards. Holy crap. Uh... As far as Masochist goes, there's if that's what they're doing, they've got some decent stuff. I mean, like, obviously, they had, like, Reborn and stuff. Raigeki's crazy. But even in, like, the common or rare, Performer Pal Whip Snake is crazy. Being able to switch the attack and defense of a monster and it's 17, that's really good.
This equip spell is decent too, because it can like protect a monster and it gives it uh, spell counters every time an attack is declared. Cyber Dragon's crazy. Fucking Druis Worm. Again, I'm not sure if they were a masochist or not. This looks like a masochist deck to me, but like, damn. I'm kind of jealous for some of their cards, not going to lie. <laughs>